welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, my name is Vanessa. So I'm sitting here doing a like tips and tricks and makeup hacks, if you will, um, type of video because I wanted to share with you guys some of my most common makeup mistakes that just can sometimes happen as much as we try to prevent them from happening, they still can happen. So, you know, the worst thing that can happen to you is when you've spent like 30, 40 minutes plus doing a makeup look, you're getting ready to go somewhere and something along the way just happens and you have to start all over. So I'm here to share with you guys my most common mistakes and hacks with you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do like this type of video, please make sure to give it a like and a thumbs up so I know that tells me to make more of these videos. So if you do enjoy it, please give it a like. I hope that you do. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay, so the whole reason why I wanted to create this video for you is because sometimes we can put in all the work and all the time getting ready and doing our makeup, but sometimes mishaps just happen. So our eyeliner, our wings don't come out even, our contour can be looked too low, be too low, look too low. Um, sometimes even as far as our under eyes can crease and that ain't cute. So as you can see, I already applied my wings with my liquid eyeliner. If you guessed that I used the Bite Upswing liquid eyeliner, you are correct. Um, so here I have not yet applied any concealer or anything because this is, like I said, a whole, like, what would you do if this happened? So for my wings, sometimes you already know, sometimes it's a struggle, like one will be like really more like cat eye and then one will be like a little bit sad looking. So what you do is, like I said, I already applied my wing, but have no concealer. Before applying concealer, you would get a makeup remover wipe. And just as it is, you would literally just swoop it up and go like this. If any like black um, liner smudges, same thing goes for this side. You would just swoop it up. And I'm basically at this point making them sharper because I already kind of cleaned up um, prior to filming this video. So as you can see, you will have a lot of um, like your base will just kind of come off right here. That's okay because we have not applied concealer. So that's what you would do if let's say your wings are not even and one's looking a little bit more higher up to the sky and one's just a little droopy. That's a way to fix it. So that's a tip right there. Hope that helps. Another tip I wanted to talk about is concealer. So how to prevent concealer from creasing. So. You already know I love my color corrector by Pixi. I'm going to be applying that before going with my concealer because I don't want to use extra product. So a lot of the time going in with a concealer and having that creasing going on has to has to do a lot with um, having too much product sitting underneath the eyes. So so much so much concealer that it just tends to crease and bunch up underneath where we have you know natural wrinkles. So I'm applying my concealer where I normally would, right here. Now going in with my concealer, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Hydro Camel Concealer. I'm going in with the lighter shade because I want to highlight. And then you don't want to blend your color corrector. Just leave it as it is. Don't touch it. Just go straight in with your concealer. Go in with less concealer and then add more versus adding a lot and then feeling like you need to take away and you don't know how to get rid of it. So now I'm going to gently with a damp beauty blender. This is so weird doing this with makeup on. Normally I would just, you know, do a full tutorial and teach you, but sometimes, you know, life happens. So I wanted to teach you how you would do it, you know, if you were already basically done and then you had to fix it and correct it. Like let's say you had already set put concealer and set it you can always fix a mistake by using a wipe same thing use a wipe take it off and start all over so you would start from square one like i just did the color corrector and then the concealer okay so this is what the under eyes should look be looking like really nice and bright because we did apply the color corrector so it honestly does a big difference a big big difference with how the inner eyes the under eyes look okay so once you blend everything out you would just go ahead and spray if you feel like things are just a little dry underneath or maybe you have like a dry concealer you can use a setting spray and dampen 
your beauty sponge to really make things melt and press underneath the under eye like so because sometimes it could just look dry even before going on with powder and the last thing you want to do is set something that's already looking dry and crepey so to prevent any like dry looking texture underneath the eyes just spray some setting spray on your um, beauty blender or beauty sponge and make really make that product melt underneath the eye the also the other trick with this is you don't want to over apply because things will look really really dry and you want to look up so that you're not setting any of the creases that's happening underneath the eye like right here i have a crease right there i want to make sure that i'm looking up and really stretching out that under eye so I don't set any lines, fine lines that I have underneath the eye, like so. And then I just wipe it off pretty quickly. The only reason why I do that is because I am dry skin type. Even if you're not dry skin type, we don't really have that much oil underneath the eyes, so it can kind of look just really dull and dry underneath. All I really care to do is just set that concealer in place and that's it. So that is it for the powder. So before finishing off the eyes, I really need to fix this. So if you've been staring at my contour and being like, girl, your contour is going way too low, totally feel you and it's distracting me. So the way to fix this, if the product goes just a little bit low or you know, sometimes we use a little bit lar too large of a brush for the contour, the way to fix that is to just simply get um, some loose powder again really get a nice little thin layer and i like to, for my face and for my like size of face and shape i like about three fingers from the actual jaw so as you can see it's a little bit too low so i'll go i need more powder so i'll just go right on top of it where i would like it to end and cut that and then I just spread it going downward and I just round it out right here so that's how I would like my contour see the difference like you're not seeing much um like cheek is that the lower cheek area same thing goes for the other side so I would just go right on top of where I want it to stop and then just bring that down this also helps um, fix, like if you went too high when you're contouring and trying to chisel the chin, the, sorry, the double chin, the jawbone, that's what I meant, but you know what I'm saying, it's for the double chin, okay? Um, so same thing, it kind of helps even prevent any like contour writing up too high from contouring underneath here. I know a lot of individuals like this method to really make your cheekbones pop and look really, you know, sculpted, which is really nice. But sometimes, honestly, the reason why I even use this method most of the time, I mean, of course, sometimes I will do it for trying to really chisel the jawline. But most of the time, it's because I went a little bit too low. And that's just my brush or sometimes I didn't know that the product was just gonna, you know, just spread around a little bit, just lower than I would like. So that mistake happens quite a bit with me and it's totally fine. Cause there's ways, there, there's, way to, there's ways to fix it. <laughs> you cannot talk today. Okay, now going back to the eyes, I'm gonna really quickly um, fast forward this part, but I'm just gonna really quickly apply my underneath my lower lash line shadow and then i'll be back to talk to you okay so that's it for my under eyes i just really quickly applied the lightest transition shade and that raspberry shade um to deepen things up underneath so if you notice that your under eyes are just a little bit dry and you will see them kind of like looking a little ashy i like to say ashy as a word because you know like when your skin needs like lotion and you know what ashy means right so you know how things can look dry 
Before you even do your mascara, you can go ahead and do a layer of setting spray. It doesn't need to be like a dewy setting spray, just any normal setting spray will do. Of course, it's not a mattifying one, but any setting spray would do. And then now that I finish off the eyes, once, you know, mascara has dried off and everything, go ahead and apply another layer. So because of my skin type, I do have to be extra cautious on how my under eyes look because they are more of the drier area of the face. Um, and then if I feel like I need more, I will apply more. This is um, a like normal setting spray. It's not dewy, it's not matte. Alrighty, so that is it for this video. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and a thumbs up. The only way for me to really know if you enjoyed this video is by you liking my videos so I can know to make more. So also let me know in the comments down below what other like hacks, makeup tricks, tutorials, reviews you would like to see from me. I would love to know and hear from you so that I can film those for you. So that is it for me. I really appreciate you being here and taking the time to watch my video. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.